All right, guys. I got distracted. I wanted to show y'all something cool. So if you got butterfly orchids, uh, the native Encyclia tampensis, and you put them on your trees and you let them, you know, be pollinated by those sweat bees that naturally pollinate them and leave them be, you'll end up with this. Look at all the baby tampensis growing everywhere. There are some little guys. Hold on, sorry about that. Maybe y'all can see it. Yeah, look at that. All those little baby tempests. Now I'm sure not all of these are gonna, you know, live to see flowering age, but some of them will. And that's why, that's why sometimes it's nice to plant natives. Because then you'll, you'll get recruits. You get little, little babies that show up. So one, hopefully one day this little tree is gonna be covered in tampensis. Some more. I have a sad looking oncidium spatulatum up there. Another tampensis here. And you can see there's some babies growing in there. This one here is going to be close to blooming size soon. That little, that little baby there. A little seedling I should say, not baby. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, real quick I want to show you all this. So I do have some encyclia tampensis up on this tree. And I want to show you a few more little, you know, volunteer seedlings. You got one there. Where else? One there. Small cluster of them up in this area here. See them everywhere. There's a little guy there. I mean, there's a couple other encyclias on here. This is a very sad looking adenocala. Adenocala does not do well here in South Florida, so I'm sure this guy is probably not long for the road. But Tampensis does excellent because it's native, it grows in our trees naturally around the house here. And so if you have a chance to get some Tampensis, I highly recommend you do because you get a little baby, you know, and even if they don't make it, it's just it's just cool to see see the way they naturally grow. But I just wanted y'all to see that.